Welcome to our show, The China Briefing. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of international relations and economic strategies. First up, US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is hinting at stepping back from her role when President Biden's term ends, but not before engaging in critical discussions with China's vice premier. This dialogue is vital as both nations navigate their complex economic ties amidst a backdrop of ongoing tensions. Next, we turn our attention to Hong Kong's southbound travel scheme, which has opened up new routes for motorists but also raised concerns about the city's capacity to handle increased traffic. With plans to allow more vehicles from Macau and Guangdong, officials are under pressure to ensure that cross-border travel remains smooth and efficient while addressing potential challenges ahead. Finally, we explore the strained relationship between China and Japan, particularly among the youth. Despite political tensions, leaders from both countries are keen on fostering youth exchanges to bridge gaps and build future connections. However, with recent events casting a shadow over public sentiment, the path to improved relations remains fraught with challenges. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. South China Morning Post reports that US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has hinted at her likely departure from government service when President Joe Biden's term concludes in January, although she may soon meet her Chinese counterpart, Vice Premier He Lefeng, to address ongoing economic tensions. Yellen, the first woman to hold several high-profile positions in US economic policy, emphasized the importance of maintaining a constructive dialogue with China to prevent rising tensions. She noted that a delegation led by Undersecretary Jay Shambor would soon head to Beijing to tackle critical economic issues, including China's excess industrial capacity. Yellen expressed optimism about the US economy, highlighting a stabilizing job market and solid consumer spending, while acknowledging the need for vigilance regarding employment risks. In an opinion piece from the South China Morning Post, the complexities of cross-border travel between Hong Kong and mainland China are examined, particularly in light of a special scheme that has benefited Hong Kong motorists since last July. While this initiative has significantly eased travel for Hong Kong drivers, mainland drivers face stricter entry requirements. The city's limited traffic capacity poses challenges for further integration, and concerns have been raised about the potential influx of vehicles if restrictions are lifted. Despite the current limitations, there is a consensus that expanding southbound access could yield substantial economic benefits and better utilize the Hong Kong Zuhai Macau Bridge. Suggestions include exploring quota systems for mainland motorists and enhancing public transport options to facilitate smoother cross border travel. The Guardian provides an overview of the competitive landscape heading into the 2024 Paris Paralympic Games, with particular focus on the medal table expectations. Following a successful performance in Tokyo, where China dominated with 96 gold medals, the UK aims to replicate its success with a target of 100 to 140 medals, while the USA seeks to improve upon its third-place finish. France, as the host nation, has set an ambitious goal of winning 20 gold medals, significantly up from their previous tally. The article highlights the intense competition among nations, with the medal table prioritizing golds, followed by silvers and bronzes, reflecting the ongoing commitment to excellence in Paralympic sports. South China Morning Post reports on the strained relationship between China and Japan, particularly among the youth. Many young Japanese, like 15-year-old Yosushi Kaifu, express concerns about visiting China due to rising tensions over territorial disputes and political issues. Graduate student Keitoku Ikegomi shares similar hesitations, highlighting his past experiences in China and the current political climate that makes travel uncertain. Despite efforts from leaders on both sides to foster goodwill through youth exchanges, observers note that the political chill, compounded by Japan's alignment with the US and negative public sentiment towards China, poses significant challenges. Historically, youth exchanges have been a barometer for bilateral relations, but recent years have seen a decline in Japanese visitors to China, with only a third of the numbers seen in 2019. South China Morning Post also delves into the budding romance between English actress Florence Pugh and Finn Cole, a star from the acclaimed series Peaky Blinders. The pair, who have reportedly been friends for a long time, were recently spotted together at a premiere in East London, sparking speculation about their relationship. Earlier this year, they were seen at the Glastonbury Festival, 
and Pugh has shown support for Cole's stage debut. Cole's rise in acting began with encouragement from his older brother, Joe Cole, who also stars in Peaky Blinders. With a knack for playing complex characters, Finn has gained recognition in various roles, and the duo's friendship appears to have blossomed into something more as they navigate their careers in the entertainment industry. Associated Press reveals that Wynn Resorts has reached a significant settlement of $130 million with federal authorities for allowing unlicensed money transfer businesses to funnel funds to gamblers at its Las Vegas Strip Casino. This settlement marks a major accountability step for the casino, with the U.S. Justice Department indicating it is one of the largest forfeitures by a casino linked to criminal wrongdoing. The investigation uncovered various methods used to bypass U.S. laws, including the use of flying money and human head schemes. The company has since severed ties with those involved in these transactions and is working to move past legacy issues, which have included legal troubles stemming from allegations against former CEO Steve Wynn. The settlement represents a crucial moment for Wynn Resorts as it aims to focus on its future amidst ongoing scrutiny and past controversies. South China Morning Post, Azerbaijan, strategically positioned along the Caspian Sea, is making a bold move to join the BRICS economic bloc, a coalition that includes Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. This decision reflects Azerbaijan's desire to diversify its geopolitical alliances and reduce its reliance on oil and gas by tapping into BRICS vast markets and development resources. With BRICS now encompassing nearly half of the global population and a significant portion of the world economy, Azerbaijan sees membership as a pathway to greater economic stability and influence. The country's aspirations align with BRICS' emphasis on multilateralism, offering Azerbaijan a platform to advocate for a more balanced global order. Moreover, Azerbaijan's strategic location is pivotal for China's Belt and Road Initiative, enhancing trade routes between Asia and Europe. The Middle Corridor, which Azerbaijan plays a crucial role in, significantly reduces transit times and costs, further solidifying its importance in global trade and economic connectivity. South China Morning Post, in a tragic turn of events, Angela Bocares, the widow of Britain's Bill Gates, Mike Lynch, faces potential financial liabilities amounting to US$4 billion US dollar due to ongoing fraud claims from Hewlett Packard, HPE, related to Lynch's former software company, Autonomy. Despite the recent loss of her husband and their daughter in a yacht accident off the coast of Italy, HPE remains adamant about pursuing damages against Lynch's estate. Bocares, who was rescued from the sinking yacht, described her harrowing escape amidst chaos, where she narrowly avoided death. As she grapples with this personal tragedy, she also navigates the complexities of her financial future, including her stake in Darktrace, a cybersecurity firm co-founded by Lynch. With a net worth estimated at US$191 million, Bocares must now contend with the legal ramifications of her husband's past while mourning her family's loss and supporting their surviving daughter, Esme, who has expressed heartfelt sentiments about her late sister. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email. Great dragon breaks ancient streets, speeding change with modern beats. Cities rise and towers peak, new dawn breaking bold and sleek. From the Great Wall to Shanghai, progress moves as kites fly high. Tech and trade, it's all the play. Future shines brighter every day. Great dragon roars, change the cars, marching strong the mighty force.
politicians make their plea Voices blend in harmony Policies for growth and peace Ambitions never cease Dreams of silk and digital Bridging gaps from old to new Fortunes build and bonds renew Nations strengthen bold review Traditions hold but minds explore East meets west and knowledge door Complex world they navigate China's power demonstrates From the Great Wall to Shanghai Progress moves as kites fly high Tech can trade, it's all the play Future shines fire every day Great dragon roar, shakes the course Watching strong with mighty force New era, new way, fast-paced day History made in bold display Politicians make their plea Voices blend in harmony Policies for growth and peace Ambitions their growth and peace New era, new way, fast-paced day Politicians make their plea, voices blend in harmony. Policies for growth and peace, ambitions never cease. Dreams of silk and digital, bridging gaps from old to new. Fortunes build and